Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, &D Art Gallery. Today I have an 18 by 18 staple back canvas. I've put a very thin layer of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White down to help the paint move. And I'm going to do a split cup traveling pour. And before this, for the other videos I've made with a split cup, I've always made my split cup, but I went online and I did find a split cup. Um, I think what it's used for is if you're um, out and about with your significant other and you want one drink and um, your significant other wants the other, another drink, you can both uh, fill your sides and they won't mesh and you're both happy. It came with a straw, two straws, but um, I thought this would be great to um, do the split cup pours with, so I'm going to give it a try. And let's go over my paints today. I have the Artist, Artist Love Flow Acrylic White. And I have Artist Select Cadmium Yellow Light Hue. And again, I have Artist Select Dioxazine Purple. I have Amsterdam Cobalt Blue. Very pretty color. I have Artist Loft Metallic Red, and this is really a very pretty color, very, um, just very nice, I'll show you in a minute. And then, um, to, uh, to all my paints except that metallic red, I did add a dollop of Vallejo Pearl Medium to them. My pouring medium today is a little bit different, it's 60% uh, Elmer's glue all, 40% water. Um, I did add a squirt of GAC 800 into all my paints. And I did add silicone, two drops of the spot on treadmill silicone in only the purple, the red, and the blue. And let me show you consistency. I'll show you this metallic red. It's so pretty. It doesn't, it doesn't even leave a trace really barely any hope you can see that okay so let's get started i'm going to be um adding quite a bit of white i think in between my layers and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to layer one side with the lighter colors the yellow and the red with the white. And then I'm going to uh, layer the other side with the blue, the purple, and the white. And then I'm going to travel it around on the canvas and we'll just see what we can come up with. So first I'll add the white. The yellow, or excuse me, the red. The yellow. And I'll just keep repeating that. Okay, and I will start also with the, the white on this side. And I wanted to take a minute to thank all of my subscribers. I just hit 100 subscribers, and that's really fantastic news for me. 
makes me feel honored that there are that many people out there that really do want to watch my videos. I do have quite a bit of paint left over in case I have to um, mix it in the cup again. Okay. Just get my paints out of the way a little bit here. Think about how I want to, where I want to start. And it probably will be a little difficult to start because it's so full. But let's, let's get started here. It was just a random pattern as I went along. Okay. And I think I will torch it. And I think right away I'm going to take my little spoon and, and run it up this purple here. Just to break up this, this big area of purple. And I think I'll do some tipping. really hoping with this combination of colors I would not get any muddy colors.
I'm just going to take a look at it here a minute. And I think I will take my little spoon and run it up these this white area a little bit and back down. Just to enhance that a little bit. And over here. And maybe this yellow area. This purple area. Very bright painting. Very big cells in this painting also. Okay, I'm going to do a little more tipping. Tip down onto this side here, down to this corner. Still an awful lot of paint on this painting. Bring it back down. Tip to this corner. Bring it back. And I'm going to take some paint off down at that end too. Get some of that white off of there, I think. And then bring it back. And take a look at it. Take a look at the composition. Of areas I really do like is this yellow and the orange looks like fire and then in here this is very pretty I think I'll just tip a little down this way tip some of that off and then I'll bring it back Bring that blue a little bit more into the center there. Take another look. Really a lot of neat things going on here. I think this corner needs to be covered here. Let me take another look. Might tip a little bit more down this way. And bring it back.
Okay. A little more this way. Okay, now I'm going to take another look. Okay. I'm, I'm liking this. And I'm going to torch again. See what we get. Okay, as you can see, that brought up many, many cells. I'm going to check the bottom now. And check this, check the sides and the corners. I think I will call this my. 100 subscriber pour. Traveling split cup. And it's amazing these cells that have come up. And I will bring you down for a close up now. And I will tell you my favorite parts of this painting, like I normally do. Okay, we have the upper left-hand corner. So pretty with all those cells in there and all those colors. This is a nice area in here. All the, just a rainbow of colors. It's amazing. Very pretty. That red is pretty vibrant. Red and purple. I just love red and purple together. And I'll take up the middle now. At first I wasn't too sure about these um, kind of plain blue areas, but I like that the cells came up through that, it, it looks spatial now, like over in here. That looks, that looks really cool. Okay, finish up. That, that looks really nice right there too. Finish up through the middle here. Nice and bright up in this corner. This is the upper right corner here. Oh, I really like, I just really like that. Very pretty there. And this, what we're coming upon right now, it reminds me of fire. Very happy, look at that cell. Wow, very happy with this painting. Okay, 
Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and select all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Until next time, take care everybody and thanks again for subscribing. Bye.